What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a review and first impressions, pretty much, of the Pat McGrath, what is this called? Skin Fetish. I bought everything. I bought it off Pat McGrath website because I wanted to get 10% off and do three easy pays on a firm. The kit that I purchased was, I got both brushes, I got the foundation, um, the primer, and the powder. Don't hurt yourself. This is what the primer looks like. Uh, I love her packaging. Okay, so this primer is supposed to smooth, hydrate, prep skin for a soft focus blurred effect. Runway tested, mother approved. Oh, I like that, it's so cute. All right, so this is, oh. So this is what it looks like. Very pretty. Um, it just feels very light. Like, is there product in here? Let's see how this applies. Ooh. Okay, so the texture of it is thicker than what I thought. And it's a very... It has just like a, a hint of like a floral a floral scent to it. That is pretty. It actually, I almost feel like right here, it added like a subtle highlight to my cheekbones. Do you guys see that? You know what it smells like? I just, it just dawned on me. It smells like the, it smells like candy perfume. So if you've smelled Prada candy or, or the pink sugar, that's what it smells like. Just a very light kind of yummy smell. I like it. And I like what it did to my skin actually and it blurred the, the pores somewhat. It's not like as blurring as a pore primer, but that's okay. I really like this actually. Okay, so ordering online was like kind of like a shot in the dark. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. I like the bottle. I just feel like it looks, I don't know. It just reminds me of my grandparents. I don't know why that is. Buy it using the foundation brush. Cute. Oh, it's a lot shorter than I expected. Oh, it's got a cone of shame on it. Oh. Way too long for me to open it up. I had to cut it out, it took like 10 minutes and there's still some of like the packaging on it. So, <sighs> annoying. Oh, I'm out of breath. Gotta quit vaping. Let's see how this goes. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, it's a little runny. Oh. So, at least we know it applies well. Okay, so I know like the big hoo-ha over this is that it has alcohol in it. I have oily to combination skin. I know alcohol is not very good for dry skin. Chemically smell, but okay, that's not a bad match, Natalie. It's a little on the yellow side. Oh, it applies really nicely. So this brush is nice. It's not a necessity though. It does cover up all of my redness. And I think this is a pretty, I mean, that's a pretty good match for doing it online. I have to say so myself. It might not be the most perfect match. See how it's just kind of differs. It might look better once I put bronzer on. I mean, it doesn't matter when I have this top on, but I might look slightly jaundice. Let's just be real. Maybe after like the whole everything's on, it'll look a little bit better. I actually, you know, it's, actually it looks pretty good on my skin. Like I said, I have oily, I have oily to combination skin. I felt like, I feel like it looks really good. My gosh, it like totally covered up all of my pores right here. I don't know if it's the combination between the primer and the foundation, but under these harsh lighting, for it to look even relatively smooth is a winner. That Because in real life, that means it's gonna look like a mannequin. So, oh. I am really impressed. I know it's got alcohol. Um, I, it feels maybe slightly drying on my face. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Concealer is on next. Next she came out with a powder. This is supposed to also blur be weightless, buildable, just like the foundation. I didn't even tell you what that did. Smooths, hydrates, no, that's not it. Oh, it doesn't even say. Um, I think basically it's supposed to like just smooth out your face. It comes like so. And then, so this has like one of those mesh 
inserts. And this color is more of like a beigey yellow. So I'm going to add a little bit in here and use the powder brush, which is super soft. Actually feels light as air. I don't feel anything on my face really. My face feels, I would say, slightly tight. These products layer really well. So the foundation, the powder, and the primer makes your skin look really good. Uh, even under these lights, I can't believe like how blurred my pores are. So I'm gonna use some bronzer and make this face come alive. Sort of. I've been like obsessed with this bronzer recently. This is the Fenty. I'm going to use a blush. My gosh, look, this blush matches my shirt, so I'm gonna be cheesy and use that blush. I'm just gonna put a little dab right here. I dig the foundation, I love the powder, and I love the primer. I think all together, um, it makes a beautiful, absolutely beautiful finish on your face. However, as I am saying this, um, I do feel like my skin is a little bit, is a little bit tight and um, a little bit, just a little bit tight through here. For those of you who have super dry skin to dry skin, unfortunately, I don't know if this foundation would work for you unless you put like Crisco on your face first. So I will let you guys know in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.